stay safe together. Hey there. No, 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 down here. <laughs> Shocked? Don't be. I'm just the outlet you need to turn on the lights, watch TV, charge your phone, even play games on the computer. They all run through me with electricity. But I'm here to tell you that electricity can run through a lot of other things too, because it's always trying to get to the ground as fast as possible. So it'll travel through conductors like metal, water, wood. Electricity can even travel through you too. That's why you've got to play it safe and sound when electricity's around. So come on, C come in. In there? Sure. Let's explore my top five that can keep you alive. Let's see, hmm, why don't we start with, um... How about number one? Number one? <laughs> That's a good place to begin. It's simple. Never, ever, ever stick metal objects into an outlet or anything running on electricity, like a computer, a game, or especially an old kitchen appliance, like a toaster. Yeah, I like to eat toast, but I don't want to be toast. Okay, number two. Don't put too many plugs into one outlet. There's a reason why each outlet only has two plug-ins. Using any more than two could spit sparks and start a fire. So if I need to plug in more, I'll always use a power strip. Three, water mixes with a lot of things, but water and electricity, oh, they don't mix. They never have, they never will. So to avoid a really shocking accident, that means no hair dryers, no phone or game chargers, nothing plugged in near a tub or sink full of water. Play it so safe that you never even touch an electric switch when you're wet. And hey, that means no radios near the pool either. Number four is so easy you won't even have to look it up. Just look up. Oh, you mean stay away from power lines. Especially during thunderstorms. Strong storms and wind can damage power lines. And if you see that happen, wow, get back. And I'll get to a phone and call og and &E as fast as I can. The same goes for power lines damaged in a car accident. That means steer clear. And if you're in a car and power lines are touching it, don't get out. You're actually safe in the car. But if you do need to get out, jump as far as you can without touching the car and the ground at the same time. Just remember, sagging power lines or lines knocked to the ground are dangerous, even if they're not sparking, dancing, or making a crackling sound. But good power lines can be a danger too. So remember, don't climb power line poles or trees near a power line. Because if one tiny little leaf touches the power line... <laughs> Number five, it says to stay away from transformers and substations. You know, transformers, they aren't robots. They're those little green boxes that you see around your neighborhood. And they carry enough power to light up your neighborhood. And they could light you up too. So if you see one that's unlocked, don't touch it. Tell your mom and dad to call OG and E. And same goes for those big substations. They're so powerful, they gotta have a big fence around them to keep people out. In fact, best to stay away from anything with a sign like this on it. So that's the five that'll keep you alive. Never put metal objects into outlets or appliances. Don't plug too much stuff into one outlet. Never mix water and electricity. Stay away from power lines. And always stay away from transformers and substations. We've got more facts and fun at OGE.com. So come hang out at Pluggy's Outlet. You'll even find out how to make your home greener and about alternate energy sources that'll power your world in the 2020 and beyond. So whether you're outside, inside, or upside down, let's handle electricity with care. And let's, let's all stay safe together. together.